Hello community welcome to a new story titled, Coming to Terms with the Fact My Wife is Cheating on Me. Well let's get started, and don't forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. I'm sure like many people, when I first started getting thoughts in the back of my head about her being unfaithful my immediate reaction was, I'm thinking crazy, she could never do that to me. But I'm increasingly certain that's exactly what it's doing to me. I have yet to find a smoking gun, but there has been an increasing degree of behavioral flags that cannot be ignored. Wanting to travel for work more and expressing desires for some time apart while she stays on the other side of the country more and more. Being increasingly guarded over her phone, never leaving it out or her sight. Going on long walks at night, almost 2x as long as she ever would have before, supposedly talking to her mom the whole time. Taking her vibrator with her on this most recent trip despite telling me she never uses those alone. The real kicker, she left her iPad at home before this most recent work trip, and decided it needed to be remotely reset from the airport. I guess she doesn't realize there's a time stamp in iCloud when someone does that, and there's no good reason to do such a thing unless you're concerned someone is going to see messages you don't want them to. I'm still mourning the loss of our marriage and I don't even recognize myself, even typing this I feel like I'm sort of paranoid and insecure freak. But I don't think I'm crazy. I never had an insecure bone in my body around us until a few weeks ago, and all of this has culminated since then. She's absolutely cheating on me. Update. Wow, thank you all for the support. Did not expect to get this many responses to my story as well as so many people wanting to follow this throwaway account, I guess it's entertaining. I will keep posting updates on how this goes. Also, because I've gotten this tip multiple times, I can't access her phone records. It's a company paid phone, we are not on the same network or bill. Otherwise I would have done that a while ago. Personal opinions. 1. Listen to your gut, it is almost always right. You're only seeing red flags because they're meant to be seen as such, it does not sound like you are being paranoid or insecure. The hardest part is not being blinded by the, she could never do that to me, based on your past and seeing her for who she is in the current moment based on her current actions. Op, it's the iPad thing that makes it abundantly clear. Everything else is weird but I could imagine some scenario where she just wants space and privacy as she works through our marital problems. You don't decide to remote wipe your iPad while you're waiting for a flight to take off unless you realize you forgot it and are panicking you're going to be exposed for something. It's hilarious because I don't even know the password, but now I know there's bad stuff in there that she was terrified of me seeing. 2. You have more than enough proof and blatant red flags to see the obvious. Don't drag it out and woe is me it, swift and sure action is needed with a side of divorce papers. If she wants to have her cake and eat it then by all means give her the entire bakery. Know your worth bro, you deserve better. 3. When she comes back ask her the first thing to show you her phone. Get everything over with with that question. She complies or she freaks out. You will have your answer right there. Take the time off to prepare yourself for the worst. The chances are only 1% she didn't cheat, and 99% she sure as hell did. Use this time without her to do your plan for the future. Tough days and decisions are waiting for you. Sorry mate. Stay calm and healthy. Good luck. Update. Got the receipts, she's a cheater. The pie came through, best $1,000 I ever spent. I have pictures of her carrying her bad boy to the hotel room as they hold hands. Maybe I should have waited but the anger was overwhelming. I just messaged her saying I know all about it and I hope they have a good time, it's over for us, and attached one of the photos. It felt good. It's her birthday today too, I hope I ruined it for her. Like the coward she is, she didn't respond. But she's out there a whole extra week which gives me some time to start putting the affairs in order. Glad I got closure and confirmed I wasn't crazy. I deserve so much better than that gaslighting C asterisk NT. Update, she responded a few hours later saying, what is this, the gaslighting and narcissism is insane. Update 2, wow, really thank you everyone for all the support. I've been flooded with positive messages and it means a lot. I told my family about the divorce and while they were upset they totally support me. As do my close friends. She did ask to talk and I ignored it for several hours before finally just telling her I'd rather wait a day to do so. This is obviously a devastating betrayal but I'm taking the high road. The world needs more love, not less. I've retained counsel for a lawyer and insured who doesn't have access to the credit cards where I hold liabilities. I think we can mostly be amicable. Let's hope. What did you think about this story? Also, do not forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. Greetings. Comments. 1. Be prepared for the, it doesn't mean anything, we can work it out. You weren't paying attention to me. Op, which is just funny now. How could I ever believe a word she says? I can and will do so much better. 2. 
In your situation I would absolutely move on to bigger and better things. You stated before that there was divorce talk and separation. This puts the nail in. You'll be fine long term. Grieve the end of the marriage, heal, get support from family and friends, and move on. Op, it feels like a huge weight off actually. Because now I feel nothing for her. Yeah it sucks to get divorced and all that, but it's even worse to stay with someone as heinous as she is. I'm free. 3. Sorry for you man. It sounds like you have the correct mindset. Stay firm and have her served ASAP. Op, doesn't really work like that in Canada but I am already writing up the proposed terms of our separation agreement that my lawyer recommended he put in place. I will share those with her and tell her unless she objects I'm getting them in a contract and then she should hire her own lawyer to review it. 4. She will tell you all kinds of things. It didn't mean anything. Response, it meant everything, I love you. Response, you love me so much that you need to have relationships with another guy, we were having problems. Response, and yet I never cheated, you weren't paying any attention to me. Response, no, the right thing is that you weren't paying attention to me, it was all for your bad guy or toy boy, you don't know what I was going troc. Response, of course I don't, you didn't tell me, and when I asked you told me all was good, it was a mistake. Response, no, a mistake is buying almond milk instead of soy milk, it was a series of decision you made. You made your choices, now own them, don't do this. Response, I didn't do anything, you did you choose to do all you wanted, now I choose to protect myself, don't you trust me? Response, hell no, if you told me it was raining and we were outside and I was soaking wet, I would still look up to confirm if it was rain, what will we do? Response, we. We won't do anything, I will now make a response in reaction to your choices, I'm sorry. Response, yes, you are sorry you got caught, but you didn't feel sorry till now, you don't understand. Response, you are absolutely correct, I have never cheated, so how can I understand what thing is going troc your mind, I will do anything, please don't do this. Response, I can't trust you, I can't believe you, you did one of the worst things that can be done, you betrayed me on so many levels that you can't even begin to understand. If you had relationships with her in the last 6 months without condoms, go take an STD test. If you have children go take a paternity test, sorry, talk to a lawyer, separate finances, put all her things in a storage unit and inform her where they are. If you talk in person with her, record it be it video or audio but record it, protect yourself as well as you possible can. Go to a therapist, talk to friends, talk to family, don't go to the bottle or drew asterisk, don't bottle your feeling inside, go on walks, hike, to the gym, go to your hobbies, this is not the end of the book, this is the end of a chapter, you will come out better and stronger, you will be okay, maybe not now or tomorrow but you will be okay. Op, no kids and no recent relationships, which I am now super grateful for. What did you think about this story? Also, do not forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. Greetings.